Yo, what's up, Dave of Nation? It's me, the Dave of Hunter here again, and I'm gonna do this as a separate video instead of compiling it up on my archived videos and my unboxing for Sunstreaker along with those toy hunts. Okay, so this is going to be separate. This is a new toy hunt recently before we watched Deadpool and Wolverine, July 28th, uh, 2024. Alright, so yeah, as you can see here, there's a package. Okay, I'm gonna unbox that. But enjoy the toy hunt for now, and then I'm gonna unbox this big package right here. All right, the the way I say big package because it has two figures. One is the free random figure that I got from Red Talk Toys, and the other one is one of my most anticipated figures because it's movies coming out as well. So you know what it is. All right. So <clears throat> I'm still not okay. I said it on the uh, Transformers one trailer two. Enjoy the toy hunt. Even though I didn't find much, but anyway, yeah, enjoy the the hunt in uh, Toys R Us and uh, Toy Kingdom in both malls that are actually big. So yeah. <laughs> Wow, they still have tons, tons of stuff, yeah. Oh, they, ha oh, they still have these. Oh. I want to collect all the guardians though. No, it's too easy to use as he falls. Ah. As always. What can I tell you? If you're lying online now. Our hobby shops in the Philippines. Yeah. That's it. Oh. Very fun. Very fun. Wait, 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 retiring soon? Oh no. 33,000? Hell no. Yeah, I don't have that much money. You're gonna only get these in Lego stores then. Wait, what's the hundreds? Oh, it's a bad man. Huh.
This is the first time I've actually seen this. Oh, I'm hoping I'll be this. Fifteen K bundle. This is it. Okay. That's it. Yeah. Mm, is it nothing more? There's another section. I didn't know. Lamont. Oops. Okay. Oh. Well, I think that's it. Well, at least they have a separate section. I want to get this so bad. It makes it made my childhood too. Uh, wait a minute. No, I got my hopes up. Wow, I thought for sure they were gonna stop some stadia series because I had my hopes up. In Mega Mold, there's a, a Mohawk. But now it's gone. There's not a single stadia series. Yeah. We do. Oh, you the park? Oh, the shuffle. It fell down. Now that you've seen it, let's unbox this bad boy. Let's see what this box has in store, shall we? Bye, bye, bye. bye. The song is stuck in my head. Deadpool Wolverine, why would you do this to me? There you go. Got a box from Hasbro. <laughs> yeah, they sent out the package. This was supposed to be for uh, the Wave 1 of Core Class from Rise of the Beasts. Voila. No way! Okay, let's take out the random figure first. This is what I got. No shot. I said that I never, I'd never purchase these, but I got it for free. Wow, bro. Okay, you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. You know what? A part of me back in the day was like, I want to purchase this, but like in retail stores it's much more expensive than a studio series like what i'll take it i'll take it transformers rise of the beasts voyager class from the main line optimus prime you know what i'll take it i'll take it i'll have to see what this actually has to offer Part of me was like anticipating a studio series for a free figure, but I'm like, uh, I think that's too much because <laughs> studio series is the best selling Transformers line. So I'm pretty sure they're not going to sell that for a free random thing. They're not going to do that. But yeah, anyway, uh, let's open this up because I'm way more hyped on the, uh, the second one.
or the one that I actually purchased. What's funny is I purchased the same character and I got a free random figure that's also the character. The box is beat up, but it doesn't matter. Well, at least I have a main line, you know, it's uh, it's something. <coughs> yeah. Better late than ever, I guess, but anyway, yeah. It's been a year. <laughs> and this still sells or it's still like on shelves. It's just insane, by the way. So yeah. I I think that's also part of the reason why they're actually like giving it away for free now because there's a uh, Optimus Prime from Transformers Rise of the Beasts. Finally, my most anticipated figure <laughs> for this entire box. Transformers 1 Studio Series Optimus Prime. Yeah, boy. Bubble wrap. All right. Oh. Box is a bit damaged here, but that's fine. Ah, it's still the uh, the harder box, the tough one. Yeah, these kinds of boxes are like very tough to get back. But yeah, well anyway, I'm not gonna complain now, am I? So yeah, because it's the same thing for this one. But yeah, the difference now is this. You know, this one is more closed than this. Anyway, Transformers 1 from the Studio Series line, Optimus Prime. Studio Series 112 from Transformers 1, Optimus Prime. Okay, let's judge the color. This, like, yellowish. It's not actually yellow. Okay, now I see why. Yeah, the camera really doesn't do it justice, huh? Yeah, I'll take it. I would have preferred a silver metallic paint. But I guess it's act it's asking for too much. But yeah. Anyway, I'm way more excited for this one. So yeah, I got it from Red Truck Toys. Yeah. And this is the end of the line for my Red Truck Toys free random figure. Because from... Uh, from my uh, from what they've said to me is that now that I've completed two of those uh, I have a new card and that is every purchase I made will I make will be discounted so I guess in a way that's better but you know getting a free random figure the thrill and suspense is actually like you know really good so yeah, because this was clearly unexpected. I thought for sure I'm getting a legacy again. But yeah. If I were to pick which one I prefer, I legacy. Legacy, bro. <laughs> because I have a prowl and that was clearly unexpected and that is one of my uh one of the things that I actually want from legacy, so uh and then I also want the uh, Bumblebee, the animated universe legacy and then Optimus Prime. I always fan so much on that one even though i don't buy it but yeah anyway let's open this up yeah 112 optimus prime transformers one the top transformers one bottom things words yeah cg render of prime looking so good and then on the other side close-up shot 112 deluxe class it's insane that he's a deluxe and the back so yeah really cool I love that he has also the matrix everyone let's open this up I'm excited for this one well anyway before we do that I'm gonna open up you know what I'm gonna open this up first yeah I'm not gonna play with this too much but I wanna see the praise from before in this figure and compare it to my studio series which is right here on my table yeah. see he is right here so I can compare <laughs> yeah alright so uh, let's do it oh they have twisty 
Words. Instructions. Nice. He has twisty ties. It's just better. Alright, because this released back in the day where twisty ties are still good. Ah, uh, yes. The golden age of twisty ties and the plastic cover. The plastic window. Oh, it's a sturdy figure. Whoa, did not expect that. Okay. The iron blaster. At least I have an iron blaster. <laughs> I can actually make it do with my studio series prime but yeah anyway it's actually nice this feels strong you know the plastic and everything even though it's completely like lost its accuracy like come on bro like look at the difference studio series takes the cake I mean can you not can you not see Plus, with the DNA upgrade kits and everything, the cannon, the arm cannon. Yeah, bro. This one is still the best, but this one's not bad. It doesn't have a, an up and down articulation on the head. Only has left and right. It's stiff, though. What the heck? Yeah, it's very stiff. What? Okay. Okay, it has that. Yeah, it, it, oh wait, it kind of does have a butterfly, <gasps> it has a butterfly joint, kind of, a little bit, okay, no wonder why people were complaining about the Studio Series' articulation, alright, no, no ankle pivot, that's, okay, as a waist, it's not bad actually yeah this one's neat definitely not something I'd want to get you know but like it's nice to have actually thank you red truck toys yeah all right let's get to the main one another Optimus Prime <laughs> let's take this out now and let's see Transformers 1 No, not this again. Fuck. Oh, it's a Cybertron. Is that the Iacon? Is that the Iacon? Yeah, Metropolis of Iacon. Okay. This looks nice, though. What the hell, bro? I love how rounded shape it looks. The head. It looks nice. Yeah, I underestimated the figure, so let's take him out. Why is there so much tape? Oof. Bro, I was so chill. Oh, here's the Matrix. That's why I can't see it. It's like kind of shaped there. Oh, uh, it's really small, huh? Very small compared to my other two Matrix. How many do I have? <laughs> okay. Um, here's the smokestacks. Flamethrower. Yeah. Then there's like back and for the truck. And then the Energon Axe. I love this color. Okay. And I take and I took out Prime. Hold on a second. I'm gonna take this back here. The articulation is weird. Anyway. Uh, I don't know if this is Miss Transform or not, but I'm going to take a look later. I miss the days when I can just play with these toys, have the time that I want, that I need, compared to now that I'm in college. It's, I can mess around, you know? Anyway, let's take the Matrix. There you go. Now it looks good. Ooh. I like that. Doesn't really tab in, huh? Alright, now that's just Prime, bro. It's a deluxe, but who cares? Let's compare it. Oh, okay, the size is still not bad for a deluxe. Okay, Sunstreaker's still smaller. 
and Bumblebee is still smaller. Okay, yeah, this can still work. Look at that size. Interesting. Wow. Yeah, this size can still work. Interesting. All right. So I'm pretty sure the the other ones are going to be just the Lux classes as well. Yeah, I love it. First impression. It looks really good. Yeah, the design is so unique. It has a mix of roundiness to it and some bulk square ness to it like a mix of g1 and the uniqueness of it now so that's what i like about it you know taking inspirations from the g1 and at the same time creating their own so yeah i love i love this design i hope they make an orion pax figure because i know this doesn't look the same as orion pax the chest is also different I see I've seen the trailer many times so I know the difference and when Orion Pax became prime this chest became bigger like it has way more blue now it has way it has more windshield compared to before because that way you can see the matrix more so yeah anyway let's take the uh, the energon axe this doesn't tab in I really like this even though I think in the movie it's orange, just like the G1. I think I would have preferred that if it's accurate, but still. The color is really good. The blue. So yeah, I love it. How did I... That uh, concept art, that art from the movie. How did they do that pose? There is Transformers 1 Studio Series Optimus Prime. Yeah, I love it. It's really good actually yeah the color on the this ones like the kind of yellow ones it isn't actually yellow if you can see it in person it's not like what <laughs> it's weird bro it's like a it's kind of a weird color so yeah anyway Thank you guys so much for watching. That's all for the toy hunts and these unboxings for these two Optimus Prime. One free figure and one that I purchased. So, yeah. Anyway, I'll see you guys then. Peace out.